Hey YouTube, what's up? This is a little tip for uh, whiz ballers, scenario ballers, hell even speed ballers really want to do it, but here's the tip. How many of you have been playing whiz ball scenario game and you're going, God damn it, if I had another pot or two I could have made that outcome much fucking different. Even after carrying all these paws in the field, I still ran out of paint somehow. So now here's the tip that's going to help you. Okay, how many of you out there have those little two pot holders when you first started? If you don't, they're like five, six, seven, eight bucks. They're inexpensive compared to any other pot pack. This little it has one flap, holds two pots. The old cheapo thing. It is. Now I'm gonna show you how to make this usable even after you got a nice four plus three or whatever pot pack you use. First thing you do, you get the waistband belt to about your leg width. I have a big leg because I'm fat, so it's pretty wide for me. Now people were if anyone's smart, they already know where this is heading. This is going to be a leg harness. So get that right around your leg width. And remember, when you put it on now, make sure it's snug, not tight. Because if you have it tight, it's going to cause circulation. And you can't, you're can't. you not going to be able to run as good. Okay, next thing you need is a belt. I got this one of those standard Army surplus belts. There I were. These things are maybe four bucks. They're not hard to get a hold of. And it doesn't have to be a belt, it could be a piece of rope if you really want, but I think the belt gives it a nice, uh, uh, I think it was a better look, because it looked fucking retarded with rope going up from the leg harness to your belt. And with the belt and the leg harness, you're going to need a D-clip. Now these things are very inexpensive, you can probably get two of these for a dollar, go to a hardware store, Walmart, they should have them. I just have a little one here, and that's all you need, just a basic one. They don't have to be the mountain climb ones, just a normal D-clip. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, now we got this down to leg width. Now let's attach the belt. And what you do, there's, depending on your pod pack, you may have to do it different than me, but this is just the basic idea. Usually they got two loops back here. You have the belt, pull the belt up just a little bit like so. Slide this belt into it. Pull this tight again. And this should slide through with no problems. Now, this belt here, you're going to have to pull most of the slack through. And you may have to play with it to get it just right. But you should only need about. I'm, it's going to depend on your height as well, too. I'm about 6'2", so I'm going to have maybe a good, well, that's a good 8 inches of slack in there. And you got to think, this is going to droop down a little bit, you're running with it, so give yourself some play in there. So if, uh, say, 6 inches of slack in there is good for you, add another inch, just so it can, uh, like I said, have slack and run around, so it doesn't, whatever. But just give it a little slack, because remember, you had to bring it up to your belt loop and everything. So tighten this down. Oh shit, come on you piece of bastard. Tighten this down then. Nice and good because you don't want that coming apart in the middle of the game. You got your slack figured out. Put the D-clip up on the top part. Now, most paintball pants have belt loops. I got uh, the new Empire pants. Uh, they have a bell loop right in the front, right up, just a little bit over from the pocket, and that's perfect for me. Now, your pants may vary. Some people wear belts. You can just clip this into the belt. So whatever your setup it is, you may have to play with it a little bit, but generally it's going to be the same basic idea for everybody. So just get that belt down in the loop of the D-clip, like so. Nice and tight. Now you're probably going, what the fuck should I do with this? Well, you can cut it if you like, or what I liked, it, what I found out looked good was bring it up front. There's a little divot here. Put it in the divot. Bring it all the way up. Take out one of the pods. Tuck it in like so. And if you ask me, I think it gives it a little definition. See, doesn't look 
so much like a new pack, but that's the harness. You got your waistband thing here. It, this attaches to your waistband, and this will keep it from sliding, like I said. Um, just show you how it looks like on the leg. I'll put it on in a second, so. Um, if you have any questions, I didn't clarify something enough, just leave a comment. I'll reply back to you as soon as I can. And uh, thanks for watching YouTube. Stay tuned. And if you really like my videos, subscribe. Thanks.